Greetings and salutations to the Jaguar Jones audience of experts. Have we got a treat for you today. Standing by is the one, the only, the inventor gorilla. Are, are we having some technical difficulties? Okay, well can you tell him we can hear his flatulence? Okay, sorry about that. As I was saying, today we are conducting an in-depth interview with the internet sensation, the Inventor Gorilla. So without further ado, here he is, the one, the only, the Inventor Gorilla. Well, hello there YouTube, it's Inventor Gorilla, the IG. My friends call me Christian, call me whatever. Very well, may I call you Cat Daddy? You can call me uh, crazy, or you can call me paranoid, or you can call me whatever you want. But there's one thing you all need to remember is that uh, my dad is retired Air Force intelligence, okay? And uh, while he never told me anything secret because he couldn't, he told me enough. Oh. Okay. Okay, I'm not sure we really needed to know all that, but thanks for sharing. Now that you mention your father, can you tell us a little bit about the birds and the bees talk that your father had with you? Now, as a man, I understand what my parents were teaching me. My parents were teaching me that, yes, it's okay to have a toy or two. Alrighty then, uh, I guess we should move on a little bit. Uh, I understand that you like to keep your navel free from lint. Can you tell us a little bit about the methods you use to eradicate lint from your navel? Um, I will dig deep and dig hard and dig long, you know, to expose what it is I think I need to expose. Uh-huh, uh-huh, that's interesting. Um, how many times have you gotten a tattoo that you later regretted? Maybe two, maybe even uh, three, maybe even four times. Hmm, cool, yeah. Uh, do you read your horoscope daily? And I do. And it really helps, it gives me perspective on the day, and actually I, it's a random thing, and sure enough, it always applies to a situation that day. It might just be coincidence, but I don't think it is. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, interesting. Um, before the interview, you talked a little bit about the school for aspiring transvestites uh, that you and Fred Phelps are going to start. Can you tell us a little bit about that? He and I joked about it one time and that was because somebody else brought it up oh i'm i'm sorry i i guess i misunderstood you know just forget i said anything um what is your opinion on hula hoops circular 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 huh interesting and uh crude oil they said they found it here on earth but that doesn't mean that's where it came from hmm Fascinating. Um, speaking of the Earth, if you were looking for the Earth, where might you find it? I think that it's kind of, you know, below you. <laughs> well, I can't argue that. Uh, moving on. As you know, I have been waging a one-man war against gay-looking pangolins. What's your thoughts on that? I think um, it takes away from your credibility. I'm going to have to ask you to explain yourself a little bit. That's pretty self-explanatory. No, I really don't think that it is. Why do you think you can just dismiss me on this issue like that? Because it's just too easy. You know, and some of the things you say are just so ridiculous and childish. So you're saying that pangolins aren't totally gay? Yeah, well, I think you're sleeping with a gay-looking pangolin. What do you think about that? And that doesn't get my panties all in a knot over it. <laughs> you wear panties? You know what? That's pretty funny. I see where you're coming from. Well, thank you very much, but this is my channel. How do you know that I'm not just going to make a total fool out of you right now? 
because you can't because you're a little coward you're a little boy and I think I think you might be gay I really do I think you you might be a closet homosexual just by the statements you made about hating teenage girls and having no tolerance for them no patience for them you know it's like all you want to do is hang out with your buddies well wait a second what statements did I ever make about teenage girls I don't know I'm suggesting well then oh okay let's just move on uh, next question um, have you ever inadvertently breathed pig flatulence and if so how did you figure out what you were doing one day when I coughed up one of those really nasty lung cheesy black things I realized what I was doing uh-huh uh-huh uh, can you tell us a little bit about your ex-wife this is somebody that um, I've been asked to leave alone by more than one person by people that I really respect huh interesting interesting um, how would your ex-wife describe your penis stiff and stale and you know kind of snooty mm-hmm and uh, how would your ex father-in-law describe you it's a long-haired hypocrite woman hating <laughs> foul mouth you know the high school dropout um, pothead loser you know well I can't really say that's very kind but uh, alright anyway moving on um, I understand that you're a regular at several gentlemen's clubs uh, what are the characteristics that a woman needs to have in order to be a really really good stripper in my experience, do a lot more um, showing than they do speaking. Huh? That's uh, yeah. That's that's good. Um. Uh, all right. Here's the next question. Um, I'm not saying you've ever done this, but could you speculate on what it might be like to make love to a sheep? Just like the dog. Just like the cat just like the mouse, just like the ant. Okay, IG, this is going to be kind of tough for you, but I would really be remiss in my duties if I didn't bring this up. Um, you were involved in an incident a few months ago where you became sexually aroused in a public place and you had what we might call a wardrobe malfunction where your zipper failed and left you exposed. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Now, if you want to believe that that's all accident, that's fine. That's your right to believe that. But there are a lot of us out there that don't believe that. So what you are saying is that you have such raging superhuman erections that they tear through your pants and your skivvies both? So, again, it's all about perspective and the conclusions you draw from these perspectives. Um... Okay. Uh, okay, let's move on. Um, one of the criticisms that you have gotten quite a bit of here on YouTube is the fact that you make uh, prohibitively long videos. Would you like to explain why your videos are so long? Because it was that massive of a message. And that's why it was necessary. Oh, okay, I guess so. And uh, very quickly, can you tell me what your opinion is on extramarital sex? Um, it's not that expensive. It's well worth the money. It's well worth the wait to have it shipped because I waited a long time. But uh, that could be uh, an issue with the shipping company or whatever. Uh, all right. Um, oh, okay, last question. Uh, this question is actually an old Stephen Wright joke, but uh, if anyone can give us an answer, it's you, IG. All right. Suppose that you are in a vehicle traveling at the speed of light and you turned your lights on. Would they do anything? And light can only travel backwards at the speed of light. The one. The only. The inventor gorilla. 
Uh, now, before we go, uh, we had talked a little bit before the interview, and uh, you have a question that you would like to pose to the YouTube community, and you would also like to invite other YouTubers to make a video answering this question. Uh, can you tell us what that question is? Um, can you teach a dog how to build a house? <laughs>